Uh, Canto 4, Chapter 8. Thank you. I'll read something which, it's so important for our movement. It's so important, and yet remarkably, hardly anyone knows that Prabhupada ever wrote this. Perhaps some of the most important instructions Prabhupada ever gave us, and yet people don't do what he's don't talk about it. It's not taught by senior devotees or junior devotees. It's basically forgotten or ignored, even though it's the key to saving our movement in the Western world and making it actually successful. Even though it's the key to all that, it's not taught, it's basically forgotten. So I'll read it to you. It's a... Um, this is Prabhupada. Don't kill the messenger, as the Romans said. Narada Muni is instructing Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, Dhruva is instructing Dhruva, who ran away from home. And so Narada says, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Mantre Nanena, by this mantra... Mantre na nena devasya kurya dravya mayin buddha saparayang vividhaya dravya. By this mantra, a buddha, an intelligent person, should perform worship of the Lord, of God, with uh, various paraphernalia, with various, you know, objects and paraphernalia. Um, but in order to perform this worship of the Lord, you have to be desha, kala, vibhaga, vit. You have to know the differences between different countries and different times. And if you don't know it, you lose. And by the way, the same thing is in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Uh, Danish, you just sent that to me. Same verse, not not exactly the same verse, but in Chaitanya Charitamrita, praising Lord Chaitanya as knowing time and place. In fact, Kunti Devi says in, in, in her prayers that Krishna comes nato natya dharo jata, like an actor in costume. In other words, Krishna and Lord Chaitanya adjusted many things in their life to fit in to their society. So this is what Prabhupada says in his purport the relevant part. The method of worship. The method of worship, chanting the mantra, and that includes, obviously, Harinam Sankirtan. Chanting the mantra and preparing the forms of the Lord, even deity worship, is not stereotyped. Now, if I dare to say that what Prabhupada says, I mean, I'll be crucified. And I'm not saying it because I don't want to be crucified. <laughs> but, um, but Prabhupada says it here. Who reads this? Who takes it seriously? Who understands it? This is Prabhupada. You know, the one we're keeping in the center. So are we keeping this purport in the center? That's, that's the question. The method of worship, chanting the mantra and preparing the forms of the Lord is not stereotyped nor is it exactly the same everywhere. It is specifically mentioned in this verse that one should take consideration of the time, place, as in Norway, of the time, place, and available conveniences, our Krishna consciousness movement is going on throughout the entire world and we also install deities in different centers. Sometimes our Indian friends puffed up with concocted notions and this includes, of course, white Indians. Sometimes our Indian friends puffed up with concocted notions criticize, quote, this has not been done, that has not been done. But they forget this instruction of Nardamuni 
to one of the greatest Vaishnavas, Dhruva Maharaj. One has to consider the particular time, country, and conveniences. In other words, what people like and don't like. That's what the word convenient means. What people like and don't like in the country you live in. What is convenient in India may not be convenient in the Western countries. But, you know, all we need to know is that in India, they perform some ritual like this, they dress like that, they, you know, have music like this. That's all we need to know. And as far as the people in the country we actually live in, the country where our movement is not growing, they're nothing. You know, they just can eat the scraps of a Gyata Sukriti. So, those who are, so Prabhupada says, what is convenient in India? And they have a right to do whatever they want. I mean, in, people in India have a right to do what's convenient for them. What is convenient in India may not be convenient in the Western countries. Those who are not actually in the line of Acharyas or, or who personally have no knowledge of how to act in the role of Acharya unnecessarily criticize the activities of the ISKCON movement in countries outside of India. So Prabhupada was criticized for doing things in the West that were not like the way they, 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 they do in India. And I can frankly tell you that since Prabhupada left, uh, ISKCON is not what it was. It used to be much more, you know, despite dress and everything, much more Western. If someone does go and preach, these are very important words, if someone does go and preach, taking all risks, what risk are we taking, for God's sake? In the Western country, we take no risks. Same little form. Of, what risk do we take? If someone does go and preach, taking all risks and allowing all considerations for time and place. I mean, who in what Western country has the Hare Krishna movement carefully considered everything needed for time and place in terms of what the people want, not what we want. I mean, of course, again, everything I'm saying is within a framework in which we do not change our philosophy, we do not change our, our own spiritual practice, we do not change our institutions, so, you know, don't get excited about those things. <laughs> what we are talking about is details, the, the details which, frankly, many devotees, including leaders, have merged into the basic principle box. So rather than having two categories, basic principles and details, uh, there's just one. It's all basic. Unless, unless, uh, there's money involved. Then you can even, like I heard in one European country, you know, uh, temple priest blessing a meat restaurant. Or you can do car pujas in one American temple. They advertise in their newsletter that uh, they will do car pujas or they will do pujas for your business. And in other Western countries in Australia, they had a Rathiatra and right in front of Lord Jagannath Didis, they had Bollywood dancers doing an extremely erotic dance. And, and, that, and that's the word. I mean, I'm, I choose my words carefully and I mean erotic. I, I could go on and on, give you many other examples where rather than accepting Krishna's criteria, you know, accept things in the mode of goodness, if it's, you know, it's from India. And there's nothing wrong with India. This is not a criticism of India. There's nothing, I mean, it, it's just an appeal to be appropriate in the West. So Prabhupada says, allowing all considerations for time and place. Where in God's name do you find the Hare Krishna movement in the Western world allowing all considerations for the feelings of a particular country in the West?
frankly, we don't care that much about their feelings. Why? Because they'll be saved involuntarily and unconsciously. Agyata Sukriti will do the job. And therefore, why waste time even thinking about their feelings? But Prabhupada said, again, what I find remarkable, remarkable, is that no one knows this purport. You'd think that in the Western world, the preachers who are just giving their lives, care about nothing but trying to save these people, would jump on this purport and say, oh my God, this is what I needed. Prabhupada is authorizing me to get the job done. Prabhupada is authorizing me to make our movement comfortable and convenient and pleasing and attractive to the people of my country. But no, no one, no one wants it. No one's even interested in this purport. Not interested. Because no one's really interested in taking seriously the people in the country where they live. It's just a big agyata sukriti machine. The sound went in their ear, they touched the book, they ate the prashanam, it's just a big agyata sukriti machine. Anyway, uh, I hope I'm not offending anyone, but I'm just trying to do my duty to Prabhupada. So, if one allows all considerations for time and place, it might be that there are changes in the manner of worship, but that is not at all faulty. Not at all faulty. According to Shastra. There you have it. And as the Romans said, don't kill the messenger.